guys welcome back to my channel welcome to the vlog happy saturday it is the weekend i know you guys have not seen me since last weekend but listen i've been going through some things <laughs> like some things i had like this really bad allergic reaction i still have it right now i'm trying to get it like cleared up and everything i'm not even gonna like go into it because it's annoying but yeah um hopefully i could just get that all cleared up but yeah i just could not film at all because it was like way worse than it is now but that's where i've been guys also if you're new here or if you haven't already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos i know i've been telling y'all i have like a lot of content coming up for you guys and i really do i just could not film this week because of that allergic reaction but anyway like i said it's saturday uh, what have i done today so far okay oh the first thing i did early this morning i went and got my some mink lashes i went and got my lashes done and can y'all see them but yeah so i was going to blog it but once again i went to a girl that i never been to before so you know of course y'all already know how i am in those situations i don't even know if i'd be like comfortable vlogging or whatever and then also it was super early like my appointment was at 7 a.m so you know how i usually do even if it's someone i've never been to before i at least like vlog before you know in the car and show y'all like the before and then come back in the car and show y'all the after but it was so early and i attempted to do that this morning but it was so dark like you couldn't even see nothing in the video but yeah so that's what i did it seems like some of them are like falling already i'm gonna put a picture on the screen of like some of her well the work the ones that i showed her because this is supposed to be like a wispy look but i'm gonna um so i found her on instagram or whatever so i'll put the picture of on the screen of like the work that she did that really and i was like oh those are so pretty um i want to go to her or whatever and this is how mine came out i don't know how well y'all could see them i like them i think i told y'all before like i used to wear mink lashes all the time like like i just used to you know always keep my refills up always just have my um lashes done but after a while i think what happened to where at one point i couldn't get them done because the girl who like i was always going to like didn't have any like availability or something for like a really long time so then that made me be like okay well i'll just give my lashes a rest anyway that's fine and you know sometimes when you say you're going to give something a rest you end up giving it like longer of a rest than what you thought so yeah once i did that then it was like when i started kind of wanting lashes on or whatever i um just taught myself like i forced myself to learn how to do strip lashes because at first i didn't know how to put on strip lashes at all like i didn't know how to do it so i forced myself to learn how to do that and i'm like oh okay i could just still give my lashes a break but when i want like some lashes on i just put on strip lashes and then that continued on for so long and it was so irregular for me because like i said normally i would just always have minks always be you know making my appointments every three weeks or whatever but um yeah so i just decided to go ahead and give minks another try because it's easier as far as like you don't have to like take your lashes off and put them on like every day or every time you're about to go somewhere so i'm like let me just give them another try i haven't had any in a while so that's what i did this morning at seven then right after that i had an appointment for eyebrow tint i don't know if y'all could um y'all should be able to see that i don't know it's so much of a glare hold up can y'all okay yeah y'all can see the tint but yeah so after that i had an appointment <sighs> i had an appointment to get my eyebrows tinted so i did that i, I like how they came out and i only did that because there's another girl that I saw on Instagram and I liked her work. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should try that just to see how it goes for me. Um, I've gotten eyebrow tint before, but it was like a really long time ago. And I don't even remember how long it lasted or whatever. But anyway, she was saying that hers lasts like one to two weeks or something or two to three weeks. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it because that's another thing. I'm like, I always be having to fill in my eyebrows, putting the dang on strip lashes on and filling in the eyebrows. So I'm like, let me try these two things and see if i just like it better or whatever then i just keep up with that so yeah i got those done 
I'll put a picture on the screen of some of her work too. But yeah, that's what I did this morning because that appointment was at like 10. I'm just getting done with that. And now I'm just about to go to my mom's house for a little while. But I wanted to go ahead and start the vlog um, because I haven't been filming. And I know y'all know I like to do weekend vlogs. So today, yeah, I'm about to go to my mom's house. Later on today, me and my son are going to... Um, me and my oldest son, we're gonna, like, I'm gonna take him to, like, this surprise place that my friend told me about last night, because my oldest son really likes anime. I mentioned that when I was, like, redoing his room, and so we have, like, an anime restaurant here that my friend was telling me about last night, like, when we was at dinner, she was, like, that she took her son to this anime restaurant, and she was, like, it's, like, anime stuff, like, all on the wall, and she was, like, you could, like, um, make your own ramen like you pick you know your noodles and your broth and all that i don't know it just sounds like a really cool restaurant especially if you have like a kid that likes anime and she was like and then you know while you're sitting there they play like anime movies and all of that so me and him are gonna go there later but yeah so for right now i'm, I'm at my mom's house um i'm also gonna be filming today because i've been promising y'all all this content i'm gonna film my hair review the review on this kendra's boutique hair yeah i'm gonna film that today so in the next video if you see me with like this same shirt on it's because i filmed these both the same day just to let y'all know but um or i might just change my shirt but probably not because i don't even know if i feel like all of that but yeah so if you see me with the same shirt on just know i filmed the same day so i will catch up with you guys later about to go in here and just see what they're doing my other son is over here he loves being at my mom's house and i know y'all are probably like dang your, your youngest son is always at your mom's house he just like he came over here last night he would you know they be home all week with me or whatever he came over here last night i think he just like going somewhere different getting out the house or whatever and plus like she lets him do whatever he wants to do that's why he like being over here too she let him do whatever he wants to do she lets him like cook and just he could be on the phone like all times of night he could play his video game for however long and you know at my house it's not like that i'm you know I, of course you know i don't let them be on the phone whatever time of night you know they have a bedtime like even on the on the weekends they don't really have that much of a bedtime but i still don't let them be up all night but my mom she lets my son be up all night so of course he like being over here and then like he loves to be in the kitchen and be able to cook which i let him cook at the house but i think she's a little more not as like in the kitchen or as on him as i am because he make he is so messy he makes such messes where i just rather be in the kitchen while he's doing something so i could be like no fix that clean that you know but um so yeah he likes being over here so i'm just about to go in here and see what they are doing then i'll go home and start filming the stuff that i need to film and then later on i will bring you guys along to the restaurant with me and my other son what's up guys so it's still saturday it's a little later now but i'm back home um i think i mentioned to you earlier that me and hayden were gonna go to that anime restaurant i haven't told him where we're going i just told him it would be a surprise and i told him that he would really like it because it involves food and i didn't tell him it involves anime but yeah so we're about to leave and go there but i wanted to come on and um tell you guys that i finally got a new phone so i'm like filming this clip with it right now so i don't know hopefully you guys could tell a difference because this camera is supposed to be way better and so moving forward, my videos will be filmed with this. So hopefully it looks better or something or looks different. But I'm going to show it to you real quick. But I'm going to film that clip with one of my old phones. So basically what I did was um, I'm with T-Mobile and like so is my mom. So before this, excuse me. <laughs> So before this, the phone that I had was the iPhone 8 Plus and my mom had like my old iPhone 7. So basically like that's what we do. Every time I get a new phone, she gets whatever phone I'm using at the time. So when I got that, when I had the iPhone, when I got the iPhone 8 Plus, I was using a 7. So then we put that one on her line and put the 8 plus on my line and i don't know i'm just not that type of person who's always like keeping up with the latest phones and stuff like i really don't i just <laughs> as long as the phone works and does everything i want it to do i'd be fine i don't have to get every phone that come out so yeah i had an iphone 8 plus so that's what i have been filming with this whole time 
um but yeah so i'm filming this clip like i said with the new phone now the next clip when i show y'all the phone is going to be filmed with my mom's old iphone 7 because i got that back because i was like oh sometimes i could film with that even though i know the quality probably is not going to be as good because i ended up giving her my 8 plus or whatever so yeah i'm about to show you guys the phone real quick so you can see which one i got all right yes yeah, so i'm pretty sure you can tell the quality difference but this is my new phone right here so i ended up getting the red um iphone 11 now and like this is like the bag and the box and everything and i'm really liking it so far now i will say when i got the phone i think they said they had red white and i think like a green and without even thinking i was just like huh, i'll get the red I don't know why I said that because red as a color, I don't like it. Like you'll never see me wear red. You'll never see, I don't know. I just, I don't use red in anything, but I was like as a pop of color or whatever. And I guess your phone could be like a pop of color. I, you out, I don't mind red, like red accessories, red, maybe like shoes or i don't know either way i'm not a big fan of red so i don't know what made me get this red and i just feel like i kind of like fumbled because when i thought about it after i got the red i was like you know what i should have got the white because like white is so much more my aesthetic and just so much more like me like why didn't i get white i should have got white and plus like when I went on Amazon, I got this case right here off of Amazon. When I went on Amazon to get the case, like they had so many square ones like this with so many different colors and the model phone that was modeling each case was white and it just looks so nice in all of the cases, like all the colors, all the cases look so nice with the white phone. But I had already had the red phone and it's like, dang, if I could have got the white phone, I could have got all of these color cases and everything. So I ended up just getting this red one and like another black one. But yeah, so this is what I got. Just a regular iPhone 11. It's not like a Pro or a Max, but I like it. I mean, you know, I like it so far. I'm still getting used to it. I never... um. Like this whole time I haven't had like a phone that didn't have like the phone, the home button and all of that. So I'm still getting used to it. And you can see I'm really bad with, um, can y'all see that? <laughs> with phones. My phones are always dying. Like no matter what. And I don't even do nothing like that or be on the phone like that. And my phone is always dying. But anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that real quick. That's my new phone. Got the red, should have got the white. I almost was thinking like, I should have looked at these papers and seeing like if I could um take it back or something but I think you have to okay it says you may also be required to pay a restocking fee based on the full retail price of the devices follow $70 for devices with a FRP of 600 or more $40 for devices that are between 300 and 599 $20 okay so yeah if I take this back I'll have to pay an additional $70 just to get the white one i don't know if it was less than that maybe i would have did it but i don't want to pay 70 dollars just to get the white one so i'll just have a red phone okay guys so we finally made it downtown we just came out of the parking garage so it's just me and hayden y'all already know hayden don't like to be on camera but he's with me so y'all won't see him or anything and we are headed into the Japanese ramen place and once we get inside I'll come back and just show you guys how it is and everything top of the morning we smoke Ready? retalk tone sunrise creeping it's all Really, really good. Um, I don't know, he seems to like it, so 
and they play um, anime like while you sit there and eat. So that's what he's doing now. He's watching the, they have like three different screens going and he's watching them play anime. So the food came. I got the gar creamy garlic broth with seafood as my protein and I added mushrooms and bean sprouts. And he got the pork and chicken broth with real marinated steak and all the other toppings. It was super good, so we're about to go ahead and try it now. Top of the morning. Smoke. Ready? Reto tongue. Sunrise creeping. Decided to try a dessert, so we got this green tea ice cream. They had a fried green tea ice cream that I wanted to try, but they said they didn't have any more. So we're about to taste this. Hayden said it tastes good. He said it tastes like chocolate. It don't taste like chocolate. Uh uh. It tastes like green tea. <laughs> it's okay, guys. What's up, guys? Happy Sunday. Yes, it's Sunday. Um, I think yesterday I left off. I think me and Hayden was at the um, restaurant, but anyway. Once we got done there, you know, we ate and had dessert and everything. Then I just went home last night. I didn't do anything else. I was pretty tired. And today, I haven't really done anything all day. And it's like, it's 3.49 now. And me and Hanson are on the way to Walmart to get some groceries. So I was just like, I'll bring you guys along. Um, I don't think I have to get a lot. And Hanson also wants to get like a gift card or something. What kind of gift card are you getting? Um, he's getting a Nintendo Switch gift card. So first, I have to go to the bank and get some cash because I actually like owe him some money. And I guess he's gonna use some of that to get his gift card. But yeah, so that's what we're doing now. I'll see you guys when we get inside the store. Retail tone. Sunrise creeping. It's all I'm tempted to get this because of course I don't live anywhere near a cheesecake factory but I love their cheesecakes and do y'all think this actually tastes like cheesecake factory cheesecake? I really wonder. Okay so this is all the groceries we got guys. Hanson's all the way up there going to get his gift card. But yeah just a bunch of junk because <laughs> he's like oh um can we get this can we get that. I just came to get them some stuff that they would be able to fix themselves for lunch so i really came for like sandwich stuff and like frozen stuff and all of that but yeah he wanted other stuff too so we got it oh so you only spent 20 bucks okay yeah 20 dollar what is that and oh, what's the other ones 10 and 35 oh but you're only getting a 20 dollar one all right let's go to the register Okay guys, so we're back home now. Me and Hanson finished in Walmart, um, bought all that junk. <laughs> Don't ever take, I usually do not take my kids grocery shopping with me. Um, sometimes they text me a list of things that they want, but when they're actually there in the store with you, it's like, oh, we haven't had this in a long time. Oh, I really like this and blah, blah, blah. And then you end up with like <laughs> um, a hundred and how much did I spend? It was a hundred and something dollars worth of like, okay, just, but anyway, they needed um, stuff this week, like I said, to make themselves like lunch. Like if I'm unable to like stop working to do it, I like to have stuff, you know, that would be like easy for them to make and stuff like that. So like I said, that was the main reason I went. But anyway, so now I'm watching this show on Netflix that I've seen people talk about. It's called Bling Empire. So it's basically about like these very rich Asians like living in Los Angeles or whatever. Like when it first came on, the boy was talking about that movie, Crazy Rich Asians or whatever. And these are like some crazy rich Asians. Like the main, well, I don't know if she's the main character, but like the older lady, her name is like Anna. And the boy was saying like she was like the queen 
I guess, of like the Asian society in LA at one time. But to me, she doesn't even really look <laughs> that Asian. Like she's very racially ambiguous to me because looking at her, I wouldn't just automatically say she was Asian. She could go for like Latina. Is Latina and Hispanic the same thing? I don't know. She could go for like something like that. Like she could go for whatever. She don't really even look that Asian to me. But um, okay, so I'm on this second episode. And the part that made me be like, wow, was like, okay, so it's like a really rich guy. I think he's like a doctor or something. And his wife is on the show. His wife is Christine. And she was saying how, you know, like in their culture, the family, like when you get married, they really want you to produce a male heir. So she was like, his family really, you know, wanted them to have a male heir. And she tried and tried and tried. And it took her like, she said it took her like over a decade to even get pregnant. And she finally did have like a little baby boy. And he looked like... He looked like he not even two yet. So anyway, the husband wants her to have another baby. But anyway, she was saying like that whole time when she could hard, when it was like hard for her to get pregnant, she was like that the family used to treat her so bad. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, like at holidays and stuff, she used to have to sit at the kids table and like after they ate and stuff, she used to have to wash all the dishes and all of that. She was like the family used to treat her like she's like not worthy or whatever. And that sucks. Like, it wasn't her fault that she couldn't have a baby. So, I don't know. That part, I was like, dang. And then, you know, I just feel like her husband shouldn't have let that happen. But I don't know how things go in Asian culture. I'm not Asian. But anyway, yeah, it's this so far. It's got my attention. So, I'm going to keep watching it. Comment below and let me know if you guys have, like, watched this or whatever. And, like, if y'all like it or whatever. But, yeah, I have the oven warming up because I'm going to cook some dinner soon. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. I'm like craving a um a slush from Sonic, like a lemonade one. I used to love those things, and I want one. So I'm thinking I don't know if I'm gonna go get it. And I have like sometimes I used to put like vodka, like Tito's or whatever, in the lemonade slush, and it was so good. And I have some, and I kind of want to do that. But isn't that ghetto? I mean, when I, when I say ghetto, I don't mean it in that type of way. Cause you know, but, um, but yeah, like to go get like a frozen drink. I think I've mentioned something like that to y'all before that like I go get drinks or something, you know, like the frozen drinks from like the convenience store or like the big sodas or whatever and put like liquor in it and just be drinking it. Does anyone else do that? They do that where I live. That's common. That's common where I live. So do y'all do that? <laughs> Is it ghetto? Let me know. But um, yeah, so I'm about to watch this, make some food, and I guess I'll check back in with you guys later. Yeah. What's up, guys? So it's getting kind of late, so I figured I need to come on here and end the vlog. But first, I want to tell y'all about my little drink that I made. Like, you remember earlier, I said I was craving a lemonade slush from Sonic. But every time it gets, like, cold or, like, chilly outside, I never want to go anywhere. Like, I hate... Hold on, let me turn this down. Okay, yeah. Like, I hate being, um like, cold or chilly or anything. Like, I just hate it. Because I have, like, low iron and, like, it just makes my whole body hurt. So, I was going to go to Sonic and get me a drink but then i'm like no i could just make something myself so that's what i'm drinking right now and yes this is the same cup that i do my smoothies in so all i did i used um frozen peaches and i put um some of the tito's in the little blender thing and i also added lemon juice i don't know why i love adding lemon juice to everything because i just love lemon juice i like stuff that has like that tart flavor so yeah, I did the peaches and the Tito's and the lemon juice. And the peaches were already kind of like sweet. And it's like super good. So I'm sitting here drinking this. And like I'm going to finish watching. I don't know. This thing must be have a lot of episodes. But I do. I was pausing it too. Like while I was um, fixing the boys something to eat. But yeah, so I'm going to finish watching this one and maybe like another one. Then I'm going to go to sleep. So I just want to come on here and end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you are new here, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos this week. Um, 
Wednesday be on the lookout for a hair review on this hair I've been telling y'all I was gonna film a hair, hair review on this Kendra's boutique hair so yeah I already filmed it that will be up Wednesday make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that or any other any of the other videos after that all right guys see you in the next one bye Thank you.